the high energy explorers are giving astronomers a different view of our universe and helping us to better understand it. Here we have Venus, the goddess of love and beauty, and we had yet to really make a close-up picture of her. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Venus kind of looks a whole lot like Earth. This is Venus here. This is Venus here. You know, come to think of it, we don't really talk about Venus much. Okay, honestly, I don't even know what to say anymore. Uh-oh, they're coming to get me. Stop that man from talking about Venus. What have you done? To dream the impossible dream. There's no escape for you. 2019 is a cliffhanger, and it's fight, fight, or surf, baby. I ain't crazy. I'm sciencing for sure. Venus makes me want to party. Welcome to Thor News. Two minutes to midnight. Doomsday clock. Drive-in theater. Legalize it. So let's have a good time. 1978. A year of progress in both aeronautics and space research. <laughs> was a very busy year for space science. One of the most ambitious missions involved two pioneer spacecraft that were launched toward a rendezvous and landing on this planet, Venus. Scientists believe that by studying the weather of Venus, they can learn about our weather here on Earth. Here coming. Doors open and they're all down, coming down. Look down here. 50 feet. 40 feet. 30, 20, 15, 10, holding 10, 220, about 5 feet. And so this is the kind of access to space that I think we all fully expected to happen. And in fact, it did. Now it's good to know uh, NASA hadn't given up on good old-fashioned brain power. The clock is ticking. The world is watching. May the force be with us. This is a Thor News presentation. We are attempting to survive our time so we may live in two years. We hope someday, having solved the problems we face, to join a community of galactic civilizations. This record represents our hope and our determination and our goodwill in a vast and awesome universe. People who have looked to the sky and see hope. I'll take that from them first. The moon has long fascinated mankind. Man-made machines require lubrication from an outside source. We're humming along, folks. That new lubrication by the Delphite Oil Company sure turned the trick. Been carrying on one long, uninterrupted war. What I say goes, see? I'm the law around here. The NASA-developed isolation suit now allows David to get out and at least do some of the things normal children enjoy. Uh, Houston, this is... Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. Stay cool. I know, yay, right? WTF, planetary defense, is a team sport. This is a present from a small, distant world, a token of our sounds, our science, our images, our music, our thoughts, and our feelings. Their journey could last over a decade. 
with investigations of more than a dozen major planetary bodies, including Uranus. Again and again, looking from space with instruments in space, we can see the universe in ways that are impossible from the ground, bringing us closer to even greater discoveries in cosmic astronomy. I'm lost in a heavy storm. The second spacecraft, the multiprobe, is made up of a space bus with four data-gathering spheres that plunge down simultaneously to different parts of Venus, returning valuable information about... This is a computer representation of the atmosphere of Jupiter. NASA's JEDI sends laser pulses into tree canopies, revolutionizing the way researchers monitor them. Now, of course, this doesn't mean that you can take a pint of water and pour it in the gas tank of your family car, take off on a trip around the world. Our story is true. Do you ever drop a steel ball into a bowl of milk? A science lab seems a strange place to look for ghosts, doesn't it? Before we're finished, I think you'll agree that truth is stranger than the strangest fiction. Don't be confused now. This isn't one of the ghosts we were talking about. It's just the milk that follows the ball into the air. New Fact Plus. Easy to read, so you know for sure. And give tips on how to take the danger out of your kids going door to door. Give them Nightwell, the kid's guy. Who was underwear was under there? We fit America. The Surgeon General's report suggests eating foods rich in beta carotene. I'm trying. You know, that's what I'm talking about. Party dance time. We're flying now. Oh, oh, oh.